Slaving says me, I Kenesha, and I am actually continuing the last video, which is all about the customer journey. So if you have not watched that video, please go back and watch that one first before continuing on to this one. So this one is all about the post purchase phase, which is the technically last phase of the customer journey. So we're going to talk about that. So exactly what is the post purchase phase? The post purchase phase is what happens after a customer has become aware of your brand. They started to know, like, and trust you. They started to go to your website and then they bought. So what happens after a person buys from you? This is one particular thing that I know, once again, like I mentioned in the last video, that a lot of people tend to overlook. And the post-purchase phase is super important. Why is it important? What does it consist of? So the post-purchase phase is important because it really determines if a person is going to just buy from you one time or if they're going to come back and buy from you multiple times to become a returning customer, a loyal customer, and become someone who actually uses word of mouth and recommends you to other people. So you don't want to F up the post-purchase phase. <laughs> there are several things that the post-purchase phase consists of, and we're going to talk about four different things. So first, we're going to talk about excuse me, the shipping speed. People are freaking impatient, especially when it comes to ordering online. I know I even am. There are some people who they order right now. They want their shit in the next three hours. Like we're not Amazon Prime. It's not going to happen like that. But that is just how impatient people are. And even if they know for a fact that you're not, they're not going to get their items for three to five days, they can still be looking in their mailbox tomorrow wondering why they didn't get their item the next day. You know, so shipping speed is always a big deal. Um, when you have someone who buys from your website and your shipping policy states that they will get their items in three to five days and it's day seven, they haven't heard from you, nothing like that. This goes into the next part of the post-purchase phase, which is super important, is communication. I've had a lot of people tell me that the main reason, that one main reason why they love shopping with me and my boutique is because I am super transparent and I'm very honest with them. If something is happening, I let them know in an email. I, if I have their phone number, I will even text them and let them know. Customers love to be kept in the know. If you are a small business owner, people will work with you and be more understanding if you are very transparent and you communicate with them. If I'm having issues with um, my inventory being late getting here, so that means my pre-orders are going to be sent out late, I let people know. If I have items that I got in, they were damaged, I will let people know like, hey, or this item was not up to my standards. I'm going to either give you a refund or can you wait until my next batch of shipment comes in? Let people know. People will be more understanding if you are honest, especially if you are a small business owner because they know that you may not have the help or you're not like the big box brands out there. Okay, so be transparent and communicate with your customers. The next thing is, of course, your packaging. You don't have to have branded packaging, but I do suggest at least making your packages be a branded color. So if your color is purple like mine, get a purple poly mailer. I started off with purple, well actually I started off with black poly mailers. And then I finally found the purple that I wanted and I went into the purple. And excuse me, now I do a mix of purple and my branded mailers. It just depends. And of course I use boxes for my new theme boxes and in the big boxes for my hats. And all of them are branded. So you don't have to do that, but I do suggest at least having a brand color. So that way people are excited when they see that, when they open up their mailbox or they see it sitting on their porch, they know that it's from your particular boutique and they get excited. You can also make your make them opening your package an experience. So if you're someone who can afford to have boxes, like those really nice big magnetic boxes and all the nice tissue paper and whatever else, do that. Just make their experience a good one. Sorry, Kyra was waking up and um, I didn't want to put him in the bed because I didn't want to move him and then wake him up. Okay, so anyway, yeah, packaging. And then the last thing, after they've gotten their packaging, you of course want to make sure, obviously you did this before, that they are, that me, you made sure that their items were Oh, look who's walking over here. That their items <laughs> were of good quality, of course. But the last thing you want to do is you want to reel them back in. How are you going to do this? Well, first thing, I always talk about this. And if you have not taken my email marketing masterclass, 
or my MailChimp walkthrough, please do so. But I have talked about this numerous times. It's segmented emails. So you need to make sure you are sending out segmented emails because this is what will reel your customers back in, those who have purchased from you at least once or twice, depending on how you set up your segments. Next thing, of course, ads, retargeting ads. I said this in the previous video when it comes to people shopping with you. But yeah, retargeting ads are always a good thing because it seems like they are just made for that person. So you know how like you get on Facebook and you're like, dang, that item was just for me, it was waiting for just for me to come get. That's why it's a retargeting ad. Next, I also suggest, of course, text messages. That's a huge thing right now is text message marketing. And then maybe do surveys or polls for your customers to see what they want from you next. People love that. They like to be included on things. Okay, so I also have a post-purchase guide. So please make sure you all click the link in the description box. I will have a link down there so you can get straight to it because I do have a lot of guides on my website and they are all free. So if you want to get more than one, just change the little drop down that says post-purchase and you can change it to be another one. So yeah, um, <laughs> y'all can see his hair right there. So yeah, um, make sure you all look in the description box and get that free guide for your post-purchase. And yeah, since he's up, I'm going to go ahead and go. So uh, yeah, look at him, look at him. All right, so along with the links in the description box, um, there will be others in there as well. If you all need me, you know where to find me on Instagram. Be sure to DM me. Make sure you all like, share, and subscribe. And the next video, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be talking about. It, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all will see it when you see it. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Say bye, guys. Say bye.